Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at an AI tool that can create 3D objects from images. It is called Monster Mash. So first you're going to go to monstermash.zone. And up here at the top next to the folder icon is a drop down arrow. And you're going to want to import template image. Select your image and next you're going to draw. And bear with me as I attempt to draw around the silhouette of this bag. I'm going to draw it as at least two different objects. So the body of the bag and the strap separately. Oh my. Okay. I could draw this handle also. Oh boy. If you make a mistake, you can hit the trash can icon. It's really hard to draw with the cursor. All right, that's going to work good enough for me. And now we want to inflate. So it is created those as separate parts. You can't animate. I'm not going to go into that in this video. But from here, I want to export those up here at the top. We can save the project and we want to export it as an OBJ file. And over in Blender, we can import the OBJ. And if I tab into edit mode, we can see the structure. And if we select, now that these are separate parts, you can tap L to grab that specific part of the object if you want to separate it or control it. You can see it works by inflation. So we might want all of these parts to be scaled on the Y axis to be thinner and even thinner on that strap. And if we go into shading view, you will see that it has added the UV texture for us automatically. Now, if you have saved this multiple times, you might have to go into materials and find that image. But you can see what it's done is it has mirrored the image on both sides. Maybe something you might want to do to add more three dimension would be to draw some of these parts separately and then incorporate them into the mesh. So that's one quick option. Let's open a new one. And let's do this fox. Go back to draw. Or you can start a new file. And let's delete all of our drawing. All right, let's do this again. I'm going to draw the body. and a back leg and a front leg. I'm only drawing one. Uh, let's draw an ear too. So with that selected until it's red, that means it's going to duplicate the object so we can position it behind. So let's go to inflate. And you can see now we have some separate parts to work with. And again, going to export OBJ. Uh, let's import. And here's where you can see I need to map the image. And again, I'm going to have to deflate these some. But there we have it. You can see how we can quickly create 3D objects from an image, which is pretty impressive. I hope this new tool helps with your workflow and creating something new. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.
and see you next time. Take care.